<laughs> so, Susan, really all I wanted to ask you is, so now that you've got the book in your hands after a nine-month journey, um, what do you think of it? Is it what you expected? No, it isn't what I expected. I didn't expect it to be nearly as beautiful and professional to look at. Um, but I, when I read it, I, I hope that I don't find that you find fault with the, the writing. <laughs> Um, no, I'm sure not, because the editors and uh, proofreaders yes, have all been, <laughs> been through it, yeah. Mm. And um, is it the same uh, sort of size you thought it was going to be? Or did no, you... I thought it was going to be much smaller, yeah. sort of rather insignificant. And um, no, I'm very impressed with it. Great. It does look very professional. I mean, it could be even Waterstones, really, couldn't it? Definitely. It may be. <laughs> It should be the best book on your bookshelf. That's what we try to do because it is your book, mm. so we want it to feel like that. Well, I have books everywhere in the house. Um, so you, you did your life book because you'd made a promise to your husband? Yes. 20, was it 20 years ago? Uh, well, no, I think I, um, well, I got married 20 years ago to him. Right. So over the time, he would say, you know, I do wish you'd write something because... Um, some of the letters I wrote to him when he was in Italy, because he had a little house there, which eventually he sold, but he was away um, earlier on when we were getting to know each other. And he said, you know, those letters that you wrote to me, because I wrote them by hand, and he was, he was very impressed about the way I wrote, which amazed me. <laughs> um, and then he said, well, why don't, you, why don't you write about, you know, things that have happened to you? And I sort of said, well, yes, I, perhaps I will one day. And then every so often he would mention it. And then the boys started saying, you know, why don't you write something, Mum, you know? Um, and so I think, as I said to you earlier, I, when I did get down to it, you know, by this time Trevor had died, but I felt I still got to keep the keep promise. Commitment, yeah. And... One of the main reasons why I didn't tell them anything was that I might, might chicken out and still not manage it, you know. So having done it in secret, you did it because uh, you, you weren't confident you were going to complete it, but now you've got it in your hands. And I just thought, you know, it's, what am I really writing about? Because every time I read somebody's book, I'm so impressed with the way they write, and um, of course everybody starts differently, and, um, and I just thought, I, I, you know, I'm not up for this, I can't do it. But anyway, I think... Telling my son, my grandson, last week was different because I had already now, I knew it was at the printers, and uh, so I could mention it. Well, I can't wait to hear from you what he actually thinks about it when he has it in his hands. I think he'd be I, very I think impressed. I he's going to be very impressed with certainly what it looks like, yeah. anyway. And don't worry, the content is very good. Thank, <laughs> thank you very much, and thanks for coming down. Well, it's been a pleasure, yes. Especially as, I mean, rather an honour that not everybody does this. No, very few people. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be the sport.